What is up everyone? John Lorenzo of Lorenzo Fitness here. Today we'll be doing the Smart and Final Grocery Store Tour happening right now. So when it comes to making breakfast, uh, a lot of people don't have time to make oatmeal, sit down and make eggs or egg whites. A lot of people need to get in, get out, get out of the door, start their work day. So what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be picking plain yogurt as our protein source for the morning along with some fats, quick fats, something is nuts, and a carb source. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pick, we're gonna pick, but yay. So it's 2%, 23 grams of protein. All right, definitely a great choice. Only six bucks here, we're gonna grab two. Good morning, how are you? Apples. Now, of course, the reason I'm picking apples is because it's low calorie, has carbs that you could use. Quick, easy to pack, easy to make, ready to get out of the door, start your work day. Now, there's plenty of apples you could choose from. Uh, of course, you wanna leave them on with the skin just to get the fiber content from the apples there. So we're gonna add that to our resume here for our budget on a flexible diet. Cashews here. Perfect for a replacement to almonds if almonds tend to get a little pricey. Um, they're only 550 here, so definitely a great buy if you're on a budget. So now that we're wrapping that up here for breakfast, I'll break down the macros here. So basically what we're looking at is a cup or two of yogurt, a filet, an apple to start the day, with some nuts. So we'll tally the macros and we'll tally the price in terms of how much it's gonna cost for breakfast on a day to day. Let's move on to lunch. A lot of times people usually uh, underestimate how much protein they need. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to use most of our resources, in terms of our financial resources, to our protein so that's why uh, I want you to try to have as much lean meat as you can. Um, so what we're going to be doing, be loading up, stocking up with some chicken here. So the chicken that we have here for four ounces. Uh, let's see here. Now we have thighs here, but I'm primarily looking for the chicken breast. And right now, for five pounds, you're getting about 11.50 here. Not bad at all, not bad at all. For boneless and skinless here. So, what you wanna do, of course some are gonna be a little bit heavier than others here, but give or take one, uh, two, ten, two uh, in total will cost around 23 bucks here. So, something to look forward to. They'll always have deals here, you have to look for it. So like, again, 11.80, that one was 13.07. This one's 11.80 here. So you'd be spending roughly around 23 bucks uh, most of the time to get your protein. Now, every chicken breast has at least, depending on the size and depending on how much you get for your own individual needs, it's gonna need anywhere from 24 to 36 grams of protein per chicken breast. So we always wanna try to use up most of our finances there because of course we want to have pro all right so currently we are up around 45 bucks in our budget so far so we're we're getting up there of course but um, keep in mind that we still have plenty of room to go we're working with either 50 to 70 um, even 75 bucks that could last you for two weeks so what's important is I want to make sure that you get your um, micronutrients, your vitamins, and your fiber. So the last thing I want is for you to have digestive difficulties while trying to lose weight. Nobody wants that. So moving forward, we always want greens, especially for our lunch here. So I picked out these two bags here of baby spinach. They're $2.29 a bag. So this is gonna come out to $4.60 at least uh, for two bags here. So you can use that with your lunch, you can use that with your dinner. Now we're gonna go on to find some carb sources here, some fun carb sources that you can use and hopefully enjoy your fat loss. Now, as you know, I'm a clear advocate for flexible dieting. So what flexible dieting means essentially is that calories 
your body does not discriminate against any type of calorie other than how nutrient dense it is and how long it takes to digest. That's the only thing that's going to be um, occurring with that. So if you look moving forward, you have a plenty of carb sources to choose from. So what I have tortillas here and sometimes they do have the weekly special here. So you get some tortillas here for $1.99, these flour tortillas, okay? And so depending on, oh wow, actually there's a lot of them here. I was, in, I was actually not expecting this. I didn't pull this out before the camera, before I started recording it at all. But uh, with 26 grams, of course, that's perfect for a meal. Uh, they could have with your chicken, you could cut up the chicken, put the spinach in there, and do, you know, maybe even put like some sauce in there too, or some pico de gallo. Um, which shouldn't cost that much at all anyway so always be on the lookout for deals that's what I always say especially when it comes to smart and final always be on the lookout for deals sometimes uh, with protein or with chicken for example chicken breast they'll have deal of the day or last day meat and so basically uh, it's the meat that's going to technically not go bad necessarily but uh, it's the last day that they have on the shelf so they're gonna heavily discount the price and so what you want to jump on is jump on that, then put some, buy some in bulk, and of course put some in the freezer so you have some for later, and then you're all stocked up on chicken, but don't say I told you that, okay? Hush hush between us, okay? So especially with this too, so take advantage of that. Look at that. $1.99, $1.99 for a whole a gang load of tacos, a gang load of flour tortillas. Now, Again, don't, I don't discriminate against carb sources. I love everybody. I love all walks of carbs, complex carbs, simple carbs, simple sugars. You name it. I think we actually, we actually passed it, but we're looking for chips here. Now I was looking, I've now, I, I cut with chips before. My last prep, I'll put uh, up in the corner, you could see my photos. I cut with chips. I also cut with Hawaiian bread too, so I'm letting you know that you could cut with, you could lose weight with any food, you just have to count, you just have to measure accurately and you'll be set. And of course apply the right amount of work and expenditure to lose weight. Now, you also have these chips here too as well, um, a little bit more expensive of course, depending on what's your take. If I were you, I'd probably stick with the tortilla just because it's a lot more filling and maybe if you're not like me you don't have to use chips but um, the tortilla especially with that um, price on there it's, it's something that I wouldn't avoid so now we're basically at the $50 mark so we have that there technically you can make lunch with that too if you wanted to but we're not gonna make lunch with that we want to have I'm gonna give you guys pizza I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna hook you guys up with pizza hook you guys up with ice cream hook you guys up with some alcohol to get crazy on the weekends hopefully not too crazy but after I do that we're gonna figure out how much fiber you have we're gonna figure out how um, how much carbs to calculate everything then I'm gonna teach you how to manage your carbs and um, figure out your calories when you are drinking alcohol so moving forward let's go on with that this is for dinner or maybe you can even use for lunch too as well is First Street pepperoni pizza. Now, um, looking at the macronutrient value of this, it's about 320 calories. It's a bit high on the carbs, I'm not gonna lie, but of course, let's say we're making the whole pizza. Again, split it up into slices, and that way you can enjoy some pizza and not have to devour the whole thing. Um, and of course, you could switch that out with lunch, dinner, depending on your how many macros, how many carbs you need throughout the day and we'll set that up for you there. So, moving forward, this is a great price. You get two for five bucks. I, that's that's amazing to me. I like pizza. Um, I know plenty of people who love pizza who would jump on this, so. It's nothing to scoff at, of course. So, let's move forward. Let's try to get ice cream in there and let's try to get some booze. Let's try to get some broccoli, maybe one more protein source if we can, and tally everything up and I'll meet you at the checkout have to uh, take into account our fiber so 
which is why I'm glad I passed by the frozen vegetable section. Uh, we have broccoli fillets for only four bucks here. Um, so you grab a big bag. So now what we're looking at now is around 58 bucks here for in total of everything, not including tax, okay? So just keep that in mind. We're, all we're really trying to focus on is what we can fit in, how long it can last, making sure our protein and um, protein and carb sources are good, our protein sources primarily, and of course having some healthy uh, foods in there too as well. We're not gonna just make you eat all junk, okay? So let's keep it up, let's find that ice cream, let's find that booze, and then let's get one more protein source, and let's go. Six sandwich ice cream sandwiches here. Now looking at the macros here, you'll be surprised to know. Um, again, uh, low in calories of course, which is good, so we have more room to fit. But of course we do have to watch our macros here, so we have 30 grams of carbs and only four grams of protein. So not necessarily something to rely on as a protein source, but um, again, if you have a sweet tooth, if you're having issues trying to stay low in calories, there's a good alternative that you could use here section here so uh, with this basically what we want to do um, now depending on what your budget is of course if you can fit uh, any of the hard liquors that are behind me here it is going to be a little bit more expensive but for most of you guys from what most of you guys have told me you guys like to drink wine so it should be a little bit better on our budget so we're currently at 62 bucks right now around 62 63 including the ice cream sandwiches. So, depending on what kind of uh, wine you're into, usually they're gonna range anywhere from five to six bucks, give or take. So, what you would do to figure out how many calories are in each wine glass here, um, essentially, um, you would have to, or I would look it up, of course, for you, uh, I'll explain the macros right here, or where is it? Right here, I'll put the macros up here for each glass of wine. And then of course what you wanna do, depending on how much carbs you have left, or fats, you wanna use uh, the fats more as, uh, in terms of delegating the calories and uh, the calorie source in terms of how to value this for your whole meal plan for the day. So of course what you wanna do, either divide uh, a glass of wine. I'll have the calories again right this way here, okay? I'll have the calories there and then basically um, depending on how much wine you have, you divide by nine or four. Four would be the value for carbs, nine would be the value for fats and then from there you would figure out um, how much carbs or fats you have left for the day. Now, I would try try to stick to wine, of course, because obviously it is a little healthier for you. More red wine is heart healthy for you. Liquor is a little bit hard on the liver, so unless you're a party animal and you can recover, drink plenty of water, okay? Drink eight, um, drink eight ounces of water eight times throughout the day, 64 ounces of water, okay? Now, moving forward, let's try to fit one more protein source in, and then we're gonna call it a day. We're almost at 70 bucks, I'm excited, let's go. Now, we weren't able to fit in the wine but or the ice cream, but of course, you could always switch out certain calories. For example, you don't necessarily have to have pizza every day. You could switch out the pizza for the carbs, and they'd be able to fit within your goal. Now, this is looking at a pie chart with everything. So we were able to get close to our goals. We went over a little bit in fats, but that's still pretty good. We were able to still maintain and still hit our calorie goal, our protein goal, and our carbohydrate goal, which is awesome. That's what you want to do every day. So if you guys have any questions, what it came out in total was to around $65 or $67. I'm stoked for how everything went. If you guys have any questions or need help trying to fit certain things within your diet, don't be afraid to email me at lorenzofitness at hotmail.com or even give me a call at 559-477-0422. Thanks, and let's get fit together.